Okay, so we've got the airplane put together. Now we want to do some checking of its, uh, of its flight trim. So we'll start by just giving it a test glide. So you hold a little bit nose down, let it go, and it's solid. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to slide my wing back a little bit. Get the CG further aft, or forward, I should say. And that was a pretty gross adjustment, a bit, bit large. Now we're gliding nice. Very good. So now we're ready to wind the airplane up. Okay, so we will take our torque meter here. We're going to clamp it to the end of the table. altitude, but it is enough to get us an idea of what's going on. Alright. And that looks really good, except it's going to the right. And I don't know if you saw at the end it stalled. So what we're going to do is we're going to slide the wing back just a tiny bit more. I'm going to crank a couple turns in just to see. Um, my rudder has shifted all over the place too. Since it was not wanting to go to the left, I'm going to shift it to the outermost hole here, which is gross overkill, but hey, it pulls nice and straight, so it should turn now. And indeed it does, and it looks very good. Okay, so we're wound up to 0.35 torque this time, so let's see what happens. Oh yeah, very, very nice turn. Everything looks good. And plump. Okay, so we saw that the airplane um, takes quite a bit of rudder to get it turning real well to the left. Um, if you have a lot of rudder to get the, the turn to keep going to the left, um, you may find during certain stages of flight the plane tends to nose down, so you're going to have to adjust your wing and maybe even shim under the tail, which is why we've got that rubber band hold down, so you can put shims under the tail to raise and lower it. Um, you know, each airplane is different, and the thing is, in competition, you are trying to get this airplane with, really with as few adjustments as possible to fly stably in left and right turns. Now, what we're going to do next is we are going to do just that, is we're going to make it turn to the right. Now, if you saw, it did not take much rudder offset to get a little bit of a right turn going. So I'm just going to, I mean, with left rudder offset, it was trying to go to the right. So you can see I just have a little bit here. That's probably not enough, but it is enough that we'll probably see the plane tending to crank down because the airplane tends to fly more nose level 
when it's uh, trimmed, set up to fly to the right. So you will probably find yourself needing a shim under that stab. Let's find out. All right, so before the airplane hit that, uh, that, that light right there, I did notice it was starting to nose over just a little bit. Um, maybe not too much, but I'm gonna stick a little bit of a shim right here under the trailing edge of my stab. Now, Science Olympiad's rules are showing basically that you can't, that all the components have to be on the airplane, so it may be that if you need that shim that you will have to carry it trapped under a rubber band somewhere on the plane or something of that nature. Um, not real sure on that. They, the rules are a little unclear about that, so you may ask for an interpretation on that. But anyway, we've got a little bit of up elevator, so let's see what happens now. Oh yeah, there we go. Looks great. Okay folks, so this is the completed build for the 2020 Senior Flyer for Science Olympiad by j &H Aerospace. Uh, what we've done so far is we've built the airplane and I've showed you the basic trimming on it to get it to fly in my living room. Um, obviously there are a lot more adjustments that you'll need to make to get this airplane flying in a competitive manner. You'll have to tune the length of the rubber. You may even have to go and, and purchase pre-stripped rubber that is a slightly different size. Um, as long as you build light, that rubber is definitely not going to be um, too, too thin to get the airplane flying in a, in a nice and enjoyable manner. should be able to get you at least to the minute mark. Um, which is probably going to be very competitive for a single flight uh, for, for this year. So hopefully we'll see that uh, getting, we'll be able to see flight times get up to about 90 seconds for the best flights. Um, maybe, maybe a little longer, but I, I'm kind of doubting it. Um, so questions, comments, put them in the comments section below. You can catch me on, here on YouTube. You can catch me through the messaging tool at jhaerospace.com, uh, the, the contact form. And additionally, I am on the Science Olympiad, sciolli.org forums. So you can hit me up there. My screen name is Max Out. Um, I believe that's what it currently is, something like that. So anyway, hope you've enjoyed the build video for the 2020 Senior Flyer. And we'll see you later. Hi, I'm Josh Finn. This is Hope. We are J&H Aerospace. If you like this video, hit the like button. Also, how about subscribe to our channel and check out jhaerospace.com for new free flight products and all of the tooling that you'll need to build them. Thanks for watching.